Okay, and welcome to episode number one of the Shelter in Place Chef. My name is Philip Cake, and we are working from home, and we are cooking a lot of meals at home these days, and shopping, you know, protecting ourselves when we're shopping. Uh, I don't cook a lot of meals, and Mila cooks a lot of meals, and so what that means is that I have to do a certain amount of prep, and so tonight, uh, she is cooking a delicious chicken, and we are gonna make mashed potatoes in the Instapot because you can make them really quick. You can make everything in the Instapot. In fact, you can live your whole life making every firm from the goddamn Instapot. It is fantastic. I am sold. What I'm gonna be showing you how to do tonight is peeling a potato and cutting it in half so you can make mashed potatoes for your chicken, to go with your chicken because you need some kind of starch to sustain you through these dark days. Uh, but as always, before you get started making any kind of food, you want to make sure that your whole uh, your your preparation is ready to go. Your cutting board, everything is cleaned off. You're you're good to go. And to that end, you want to open a nice bottle of wine or mix yourself a drink or something like that. And what goes better with chicken than white wine? And this is a Sauvignon Blanc. And when you're buying a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc or any kind of white wine, Chardonnay um, doesn't really matter. Uh, we got this from Grocery Outlet here in Alameda, and what you want to look for in a white wine is a really nice script going across the label. Um, this has got a nice little kind of a graphic, kind of a fleur-de-lis, but uh, a nice picture of a vineyard or a mountaintop or some kind of coastal town or something like that that kind of speaks to the quality of the wine. That's really important. Um, and of course you want to have a nice big glass. This is from Rockwall Wine Company. Um, I think we were members or I stole it. I can't remember. And you know another nice thing that I think you should look for in uh, any bottle of wine for that matter is a screw off cap. Because why screw around, <laughs> a little pun there, why screw around with all that mess around with the cork and you know opening it, possibly breaking it, things like that. Oh god that's great. Woo! It's been a long day, it's Sunday and um, you know, every day around here now blurs from one to the next. Saturday, Sunday, Mila wanted to mail something and she thought it was Friday, but it was really Saturday and we didn't get to the post office on time. So, mmm, ah, boy. And it is time for a glass of wine or two. Sweet liquor eases the pain. That's something Homer Simpson said. I watched that on a Simpsons episode. Okay, so we were gonna get to, get to um, peeling these spuds. And look at these, we got these from Grocery Outlet too. They're in a bag, a large bag. And look at these delicious, it's brown and they've got little dimples on them. And what you're gonna wanna do is scrape those dimples off and just shave all of this stuff off because potatoes are grown in the dirt and you wanna get all that dirt off of your food. Um, sometimes people use manure for like, you know, fertilizer or whatever. I don't want that on my potatoes. Uh, so we're gonna peel these and we are gonna get them in this Instapot so that we can have some delicious mashed potatoes. All right, let's get going. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do with these potatoes, cause they are gross, they have been in the ground, is wash them off. I give them a nice scrub over here. And I get the colander next to me so that I can just toss them in the colander and they can drain. Basically you wanna have two things when you peel potatoes. You wanna have a potato peeler, of course, duh, and a sharp knife. And basically, you know, you could go out and you could spend a lot of money on getting your knives professionally sharpened, but why bother when you can buy something like this Chef's Choice for like eight or nine dollars. And I think it does a pretty good job. So I always make sure that I sharpen my knives before I am ready to cut my potatoes. So what you wanna do is, it's kinda of like when you were whittling, learning to whittle as a child, you wanna peel away from yourself because if you peel towards yourself, you could take off some skin and that might lead you going to the emergency room, which is not where you want to be these days. So you peel away from yourself. Hold the potatoes with a firm grip. I put a thumb down on the top and see those big dark patches there. You really want to dig deep and get those off of there. I don't know what they are. They're like something from Lord of the Rings or and so I've got a little funny game that I like to do is after one potato, I cut that in half and then I take a drink of wine. 
and that makes the process go a lot faster. So I'm gonna just peel another potato, one more potato, three potato, drink. Now, if you're like me, you love potatoes and fried potatoes, baked potatoes, potato shrimp, shrimp cocktail, shrimp louis. Did you know that vodka is made from potatoes? Another one of my favorite things. Oh my God, this is like a cancerous tumor in your potato and you wanna get that out of there because it's not likely you'll get cancer from this, but we don't wanna take that chance. If I was very resourceful, I could make a batch of vodka from this and we're going to set it to the open position and we're gonna open the Instapot. And this is a really good example of being prepared for when you're cooking. There's a little bit of rice left in my Instapot, so now I have to clean it before I put my potatoes in. All right, so we have cleaned out our Instapot. There is no more rice residue. So we're gonna take and we're gonna put these potatoes in the Instapot. Do we need to clean them? Uh, rinse them. Rinse them, right. You wanna rinse them first, actually. All right, so we're gonna take, we're gonna put the potatoes, whoops. Okay, one fell on the floor, no big deal. So I don't know how much water we need to put in there or what setting or anything else other than what I was, what I was told was, what I was told was cut up, peel the potatoes, cut them up and put them in the Instapot. All right, so that's, I'm done. Mila, Mila, she's gonna take care of this. I have done my part. I'll be very happy to eat it. So what we've got here is a whole cutting board full of scraps and I'm gonna put these in my uh, little green bin. Uh, I keep a paper bag in there. And you can look inside there, there's some rice, there's some green beans, lemons, oranges, eggshells, and now there are going to be a whole bunch of potato skins, and if the worst comes to worst, at the end of the world, you can make a nice salad out of this. Delicious chicken that Mila made, and we're gonna cut up now. All right, we have our delicious roast chicken that I didn't have anything to do with. Mila made this, it's fantastic, looks delicious, and we are going to carve it, because that is my creative contribution. Once again, if you're gonna carve a chicken, you want a really sharp knife and no need to go to a professional knife sharpener. Just use one of these Chef's Choice knife sharpener. Cut down, cut away that bone. Ugh. Cut away that thigh, carve into that chicken. It looks delicious. Skin on the outside with herbs and stuff that Mila rubbed on it. I don't know what they were, but they look great. And this looks perfectly done. It's not, it's not pink, it's still white. You can just smell that delicious chicken. Does that look, whoops, oop. Gotta be careful not to tip the plate up to the camera because the juice runs off. But does that look fantastic or what? All right, and we have a delicious chicken and mashed potato meal. And yeah, remember that I made the mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. I didn't make them, but I cut them, peeled them and cut them. Uh, Mila made a delicious, looks like a gravy. A gravy. I like a gravy. Creamy gravy on top of your mashed potatoes. You make that out of stuff from the chicken. Of course, to top it off, the chicken looks delicious, but let's try out those mashed potatoes. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Those are fantastic. The mashed potatoes are fantastic. They are creamy, they're savory, they're smooth, they taste like potatoes. They're everything that you would want in a mashed potato because they're mashed potatoes. I've also got some healthy broccoli, and of course, let's try out the chicken here. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> I married him, what can I say? Okay, that is the piece de resistance. This is roast 
chicken with gravy and mashed potatoes and broccoli. And if you left off the broccoli, it would be perfect. This is the Shelter in Place Chef. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more fantastic meals. Not entirely made by me. Thank you, Mila. <laughs> You're in the shop. <laughs>